So I'm back at the King Edward VII estate just outside Midhurst in West Sussex. Now I was first introduced to the project about three years ago by city and country when it was in a very sorry, neglected and abandoned state. But since then a huge amount of work has been done and it's been beautifully restored. I can't wait to see it. What a magnificent entrance. And then it comes through to this beautiful link, which on my first visit was awful. It was dark, it was damp, it was dingy. There were some ugly modern additions either side of these windows, which blocked out all the light. They've been taken down, and the lovely natural light just floods into the space now. The old carpet's gone to reveal the original parquet flooring, which has come up an absolute treat. And then these doors have been put in because restoration isn't just about the building. It's about linking to the gardens too. <sighs> Incredible. So this is the original old dining room and what a transformation, the light from all the windows is just stunning. And the changes that city and country have made have been quite dramatic. Up on the first floor, at this level, there was a very ugly modern addition as part of the old building. And that blocked all the light from that side. And the attention to detail everywhere is just second to none. Take the corner seat up there at high level. That's all being created from an original mold taken from one section. And the lights bring the space to life. City and Country took on the great British lighting company in London to recreate some beautiful light fittings. What a gorgeous communal space to just hang out in all day and relax. Now this is one of the mansion apartments, which is one of the most luxurious on the estate. I love it. You've got this very beautiful long corridor, which feels like you're in a gallery rather than someone's home. And you're constantly getting beautiful glimpses out of the landscape and the surrounding buildings. And then at this point, the whole thing just opens up. Beautiful desk with a gorgeous view. And then these doors have been very carefully positioned so that the corridor and hallway is constantly linking with the living spaces. Living, dining, kitchen, bedrooms at that end and a bedroom down at that end too. And just as all the corridor links through to the living spaces, all the living spaces beautifully connect to the outside. It's very unusual for a house builder to have its own in-house interior design team, but it's well worth the investment. Why? Because they understand the history and the nature of the building. So all the choices they make are appropriate, whether it's the William Morris wallpaper, the beautiful parquet flooring, or the lovely lighting. It's like being in a, in a boutique hotel. And this is the original ladies' reading room. And it's absolutely beautiful. What a grand entrance to this room. I love the way that you come down the steps. And that makes the whole room then feel larger, higher, and grander. And all the cabinetry and timber work has been stunningly restored, even the parquet flooring. And then you've got the very elegant Hale's fireplace. And the marquetry in this is so stunning. 
And there's probably no better room to then be able to walk out and see the wonderful Gertrude Jekyll Restored Gardens. The restored Gertrude Jekyll Gardens are an absolute triumph. She produced more than 40 drawings for the scheme here. And what's more, the gardens are also listed on the English Heritage Register of Parks and Gardens. They really bring the estate to life. And what's more, everyone that lives here can enjoy them. Now this is the brand new swimming pool and steam room here at King Edwards and what's brilliant is that it's part of the old grade 2 listed chapel and I have to say this has proven very popular with residents. Some of my favourite spaces in any old buildings are the lofts. You're high up in the roof and it gives you a fantastic opportunity to design some really unique beautiful spaces and here at the King Edward's development, all of the apartments are very individual. Now this was the old kitchen to make all the food for the patients and the staff. And look at it now. Incredible. It's now a place to live. Beautiful open plan kitchen, open plan living area. Gorgeous views up to the skylight at the top. And you can see the fantastic iron frame of the original building. And then you go upstairs to the main bedroom. It's just absolutely stunning. A very contemporary new form of living within an old space. Open plan with two bedrooms, one mezzanine and one tucked down in the corner there. It's such a beautiful space. It's like, it's like warehouse living. You know, the restoration of the King Edward VII estate really is quite spectacular. It respects the history of the building. It respects the detail and quality of materials of the original building. And it really has been brought back to life. Remember, this was a place that was built for health, happiness and recuperation and it could do exactly the same for you. It's within close proximity to London and it's sitting on the doorstep of the most stunning landscape you could ever possibly imagine. I couldn't imagine a better place to live.